hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started head over to create new add an illustration we select a thousand by thousand video we have resolution 300 and we create i'm going to double click this background here and unlock it copy my hexa code right here copy and i'm going to add a new solid color so i'm going to paste my hexa code right here and click ok Turn it over to far place embedded and select this item i'm going to convert this to a smart object ctrl t and i transform click the check marks confirm and i'm going to change the blend mode to soft light reduce the opacity to 50 okay 40 is okay and i'm going to create a max grab the gradient tool and I have it set to foreground to transparent I'm going to drag this way ok ok so we have it here I grab my ruler ok and I have one here So I copy my text from Notepad. I copy all this. T. Press T or grab my text tool and I paste. So click the check mark and I'm going to change the color for to white. Change the size to six and the font to Avalon. So I have it here. and I'm going to make it title case. Ctrl A and I have it right in the middle. Ctrl D I dictionary. So I grab my test line, highlight this, and I'm going to italize that. Click the check mark to confirm. Head over to Notepad and copy this test. Copy. Grab my test tool and I paste. So I'm going to change this to 11 so that it's bigger. I paste, click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to uncheck and italize. So I grab my test to highlight this and clean it. I get rid of it. Highlight this and cut. Click the check mark and I'm going to paste this right here. Okay, I'm going to grab my test to it once again. Sorry, we click the check mark and delete that. So I highlight this and cut. Click the check mark and I paste. So I'm going to change the font to the Benghazi bold. And I'm making all uppercase, changing the size to 25. So I have it right here. And drop it a bit. Put alt and drag to look it. And I'm going to highlight this test and change it to end this sign up as and I'm changing it to purple goose grab my move to and I transform a bit click the check mark to confirm so I'm moving this test out and I'm going to select this test Change it to 14. Change the font to the Bengal Seabolt. 
Miko Lapakis. Ctrl T and I transform this way. Okay, click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to highlight this. Oh, I'm going to select this. Make it a bit bigger. Click the check mark. And I'm going to copy this hexapod right here. I'm going to change the color fill of this. I'm pasting my hexapod right here. Okay. And I click OK. So we have it this way. So I, I have night over here and i'm going to change the size sorry we are do that i'm going to change the size to 33 and i have the font as patricia safari so i have it right here so i'll grab my test tool and make it and capital N this way click the check mark to confirm and change the color fill to this yellow click ok so I grab my move to the night adjust this a bit right here I'm moving this layer to the top ok so we have it right here I just hit a bit. I'm going to select all these layers. Select all these layers. Okay. Ctrl G and I group. So we have all these as a group, one group. So grab my test tool, change the font to Avalon, the size to 9, ok, and change the color from to this yellow, ok, and I, and I type thin, ok. Grab my move tool and adjust this. So grab my recta rounded rectangular tool. And draw a rectangle right here. To have the color fill as this. So I'm going to change this color fill, okay. To be a gradient. I want this to be a gradient so we have I'm going to change the gradient to this color here. I'm changing it to this hexa code. I'm pasting my hexa code right here. Click OK. I'm selecting the next one. And I'll go copy my hexa code again. The second one copy and I'm going to paste this right here ok so we have this and I click ok and I'll set my angle to 1 ok I'm going to select the rectangle shape and change my and add a stroke size so I have yellow and I have the stroke size set at this is too big. We set it at 6. We reduce it again. Let's change it to 3. This is ok. So we have it this way. Con Alt and I drag to duplicate. So we have this test right here. I head over to Notepad and copy the theme. So I'm going to highlight this and paste the theme right here. Click the check mark to confirm. Grab my move tool. So I'm changing this highlighted text to uppercase. Click the check mark to confirm. 
So V and I grab my move to reducing the size to eight. Okay. So we have it right in the shape. Ctrl T and I transform, reducing this a bit. Okay, click the check mark to confirm. So space. Click the check mark to confirm. Head over to Notepad and copy the scripture reference. So I grab my test tool and paste it right here. Change it to Cortasi. Click the check mark to confirm and I'm changing the color for to white. So I change the size to 6, 7, and mean. So we have it right here. So I grab my rectangle too. And draw a rectangle shape right here. I have the color filler selling. Okay. Grab my move to the move this a bit. Okay. Grab my rectangle to once again. I have the color for myself and I'm going to draw a rectangle shape right here. So we have it this way. I head over to Notepad and copy this. Okay, I copy. Grab my test tool and I paste. So I'm changing this font to the Bengal Seaboard or uppercase V and I grab my move tool I'm changing the color from to this background color okay I have the size set to 10, 15 okay so I have it right in the shape head over to notes part and copy this So grab my test tool. Okay, we have the font set. Yes, I can. And I paste. We, we click the check mark and change the color from. To this yellow. Okay. We can check this. Grab my test and change this to capital V. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to highlight this and change the color to white. Highlight this as well. And change the color to white. Okay. I got my move to. So we have it right there. I'm increasing my reading to 20. Sorry, this is too much, so I'm going to reduce that to 12. Reduce it again. The leading to 10. Leading to 9. So control T and I transform. I'm reducing this a bit. Okay. Try so it this way. Click the check mark to confirm. Select Kumasi in this rectangle. In this rectangle. Sorry, I select Kumasi in this rectangle and I go Ctrl G. So we drop it a bit. Select this text and drop it. So 
read about the notepad and copy all these text. Grab my text tool and paste. Click the check mark to confirm. So I'm going to highlight this and cut. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to paste it right here. Click the check mark to confirm. Change the size to 27. Grab my move tool and adjust it. Okay, so we have it this way. I'm going to select this. Change all to uppercase. We have it this way. And I'm changing the size to 6. So we have it this way. I'm going to select this. Now click the check mark to confirm. We select. And adjust it under the date. And change the leading to 6. So we have it this way. Okay. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. We zoom in and make it a bit bigger. Click the check mark to confirm. Okay, so we have it here. Select the rectangle too. And draw a rectangle shape right here. So we change the corner radius to 50. So we copy this test. Grab my test tool and paste. I'm going to change the size to 6 and paste. Changing the color to the background color. So we have it right over here. Grab my test tool and press enter. So I'm going to highlight, highlight this. Change it to all upper case. Change the size to 9. So highlight this as well. And change the size to 9. Okay. I click the check mark to confirm. Grab my move tool and adjust this. Changing the leading to 6. Sorry. Changing it to 8. Okay, so we have it right here. I move this up. Okay, this is okay. Need to select this rectangle. Make it a bit bigger. Expand it. Click the check mark to confirm. Maybe this way. And I'm going to select this layer. So I have this rectangle. This layer as well. This layer. And group 2. Ctrl G and I group. We have all these as one group. And move it a bit, okay. I'm going to add a new layer. Copy this hexa code. Grab my brush tool. And I'm going to change the foreground color. So I'm pasting the hexa code right here. Click OK. And I'm going to click just here once. Grab my move tool. I'm going to select this. 
so we right click and flip editor so i have it right here and i'm going to drop this layer beneath i'm dropping this layer down under group 3 so we have it here i'm going to reduce the opacity down to 66 okay down to 85 sorry so i have it this way head over to file place embedded I select this item, the image, convert to smart object. So I have it right here. Grab my ellipse tool and I'm going to draw an ellipse right here. So I already have the four, the color fill set and I'm going to add a stroke to this yellow. I have the stroke size. Okay, this is okay. I'm moving this layer to the top to create a clipping max. So I have it right in the early. So right click and create a clipping max. So I have it this way in the ellipse. Select these two layers, control G and group them. Control T and I transform a bit. So I'm going to grab my ellipse once again and draw a small shape right under this. Change the color fill to black. Okay. And I'll drop this layer under the group. Convert this to a smart object. Head over to filter. Gaussian black. So we move to black and Gaussian black. So I already have the size here as 14. We click OK and I'm going to reduce the opacity down to 66 70 ok so we have it this way I'm going to copy this text grab my text tool and paste First, I'm going to change the font and now it is I'm going to type Nova. Let's change the color from white. Sorry, we undo that. Control V. So we have it right here. I got my move tool. We have it under group four. So we're going to bring this group rather down. We move this group to the down. So we have the test on top. We can get rid of our list. Sorry. We're going to off this layer. Okay. So we move these rulers out. We get rid of them. We can on this back. Okay. So we have it this way. Okay. Guys, thanks for watching once again. See you in my next tutorial.